So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about nature of roots of a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in a standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. If a is equal to 0, so it means that it's not quadratic but a linear equation. The quadratic formula that is equal to negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The formula for the discriminant that is b squared minus 4ac, where the value of the discriminant may be 0 or negative or positive or perfect or not perfect square. Based on the discriminant, let us identify the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. If the discriminant is equal to 0, the nature of the roots are real, rational, and equal. What if, if the discriminant is greater than 0 that is perfect? The perfect square are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. So the nature of the roots are real, rational, and unequal. How about if the discriminant that is less than 0? So it means the nature of the roots are imaginary and unequal. What if, if the discriminant that is greater than 0 but not perfect? So not perfect, example is 7, 11, 13. So the nature of the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. In example number one, let us solve for the discriminant and the nature of the roots. The formula for the discriminant, that is b squared minus 4ac. First, we need to identify the value of a, that is 1, the value of b, that is equal to 8, and then the constant, that is c, equals 16. So afterwards, let us replace all the value to the given equation for the discriminant. So replace the value of b by 8 and then square minus 4, replace the value of a, that is 1, replace the value of c, that is equal to 16. Afterwards, let us uh, multiply 8 times 8, that is equal to 64, negative 4 times 1, that is negative 4, negative 4 times 16, that is equal to negative 64. 64 minus 64, the discriminant, that is equal to 0. If the discriminant that is equal to 0, it means the nature of the roots are real, rational, and equal. How about example number 2? x squared minus 3x plus 7 equals 0. So the value of a, that is the numerical coefficient of x squared, that is 1. The value of b, that is negative 3 the value of c that is equal to 7. Let us replace all the value to the formula. So the value of b that is negative 3 parentheses and then square, copy negative 4, a that is 1, c that is equal to 7. Negative 3 times negative 3 that is positive 9. Negative 4 times 1 that is negative 4. Negative 4 times 7, that is negative 28. If we subtract, subtract, copy the sign of the larger number. So 9 minus 28, that is equal to 19. And then copy the sign of the larger number, so that is negative. So discriminant is equal to negative 19. So it means discriminant that is less than 0. So it means the nature of the roots are imaginary and unequal. In example number 3, 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. So let us identify the value of a, b, and c. So a, that is positive 3, b, the numerical coefficient of x, that is negative 4, and then the constant c, that is equal to 1. Let us replace all the value for the formula for the discriminant. So b, that is negative 4, parenthesis square, 
copy negative 4, A, that is 3, C, that is equal to 1. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is equal to positive 16. Negative 4 times 3 times 1. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 times 1, that is negative 12. If we subtract 16 minus 12, the discriminant, that is equal to 4. Discriminant that is equal to 4, that is greater than 0. So it means 4 is greater than 0, that is perfect. So discriminant greater than 0, that is perfect because 4 is a perfect square. So if that is perfect, the nature of the roots are real, rational, and unequal. An example number 4. 3x squared plus 7x plus 1 equal 0. First, we need to identify the value of a, b, and c. So a, that is 3, b, that is equal to 7, and then c, that is equal to 1. Let us replace all the value to the given equation. So the value of b, that is 7. So quantity 7 squared minus 4, copy the value of a, replace it with 3, the value of c, replace it with 1. Let us solve. So 7 times 7, that is equal to 49. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 times 1, that is negative 12. 49 minus 12, that is equal to 37. So the discriminant, that is equal to 37. And 37 is not a perfect square. So it means discriminant is greater than 0 and not a perfect square. So it means the nature of the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. In example number 5, the given x squared minus 4x plus 8 equal 0. So the value of a, that is 1, b, that is negative 4, and then c, that is equal to 8. Afterwards, let us replace all the value to the given equation. So that becomes negative 4 squared, copy negative 4, the value of a, that is equal to 1, and then c, that is equal to 8. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 8, that is equal to negative 32. If we subtract, subtract, that is equal to 16, and then copy the sign of the larger number, so that is equal to negative 16. Negative 16 is less than 0. So it means the discriminant is less than 0. So the roots are imaginary and unequal. Instruction. Solve for the discriminant and give the nature of the roots. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.